How you guys doing? This is Jason, back with Tuna Tech. And as you can see here, I have a menagerie of folding devices. Okay, so you can see here, there's two types of folding devices. You have the ones that fold and the ones that flip, right? We got these two. This is the Razor Plus, this is the Fold 4. Now, the Fold 5 is due to come out very soon and the Razor Plus is also new, but there's a new one coming out. The Samsung Flip 5 will be out soon. So, you gotta pick your poison. Do you wanna flip or do you wanna fold? To me, my preference has always been the fold because I feel like even with these small screens in the front, you still, and you could do a lot with the Razer, with the Razer Plus, but you still gotta open it to be able to do anything with it. And the fold was always good because um, you can open it and you can do a lot more. But the problem with the fold now, at least in the US, is these screens were very narrow and typing them were very difficult and they were also very chunky. So you had two options. You had Samsung with the flipper fold or Razer with the, with the flip. So what do you do? Well, that's where this guy comes in. Now, this is a Pixel device, and this is their version of the Fold. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and go on for hours and hours about what this is. We all know, especially if you're in the tech world and you're watching this video, you know what this is all about. This is Galaxy, this is the Pixel Galaxy Fold. Basically, this is Google's take on what Samsung has been doing for five generations and what Razer's been doing for a couple generations with the Flip. So, my interest has been peaked because this is not only a Google experience, but it's also a Fold, not a Flip. So, this is the obsidian color, but just a quick reminder of what this is. This is the Google Pixel Fold. It starts at $1,799. Let's just say what it is. It's 1800 bucks in the US. Way too damn much. But is the device good enough to justify that price? Who knows? The cover display is 5.8 inches and it's uh, OLED. The inside one is 7.6 inches and it's OLED with 120 hertz. Uh, for both front and back. It's got the Tensor G2, which is what the 7 Pro, 7A, and the 7 have in them. So they're not stellar, but for the general pur purpose of most people using a phone, the G2 is going to be plenty enough. You can have uh, 12 gigs of RAM only, but you get 256 or 512 storage options. For the rear cameras, 48 megapixel. Then you have a 10.8 megapixel ultra wide and a 10.8 megapixel telephoto 5x optical which is very intriguing because right now the fold just has your standard cameras nothing too extraordinary your front camera is only 9.5 megapixels but again you guys gotta remember megapixels and sensor size are only part of the story in today's cameras it's all about post processing and we all know that google has been masterful with camera pictures uh, video does 4k video up to 60 frames per second battery size is 4.821 milliamps so 4821 milliamps biggest very i shouldn't say biggest but very large for a floating device it's got 30 watt uh, max wire charging and it does offer wire charging i don't know the specifics of what the wire charging wireless charging is but it's definitely not 30 watts i want to say it's probably 10 or 15 watts so it's 10 ounces and it comes in two colors, obsidian, which is this is black, and then a porcelain, which is like an off white. Now, if you're good enough, big enough or risky enough to pre-order this from Google, it did come with a Pixel Watch and it did not, did not matter if it was just the Bluetooth or LTE. So that's a nice little perk. But this is the Pixel Fold. And as you can see, your typical Pixel Google packaging, nothing spectacular. Let's open it up. And see what we got. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's a little harder than I thought to open. All right. So, as you can see, you got the Pixel Fold right here. A SIM card information, and then what else do we have in here? So, folding care, folding screen care. So it does talk about like Samsung how to keep your screen, you know, kind of nice without damaging it. 
Um, you got two little containers here. We'll look at that in a second. And then you have a, looks like a charging cable and your typical adapter. I don't know what's in these. I don't know if anything comes in this. I don't think there's anything in those, you guys. I think it's just kind of like filling. And yes, it's been open before. Just wanna let you guys know, I was excited when I got this, but we're gonna try to open it anyways and just see if it's everything we want it to be. So we're gonna open it up here, side. So this is the Pixel Fold. As you can see, it fits more readily in your hand as opposed to the Fold 4, which is much taller and more narrow. It's easier to reach things on this phone with one hand as opposed to this one. Um, similarly, it's got a, the volume and power button, which is the fingerprint scanner, that's, which is nice. On the back, you've got the typical Pixel camera array. You got your, pic, your periscope zoom, as well as your standard cameras. And that's pretty much it. So if you look at these, we'll put them all down here together. You gotta pick and choose what you really think is the best. I think the middle one is the best option, um, but is it worth 1800 bucks? You're gonna get stellar camera, better than both of these probably combined, but you're sacrificing speed and performance with the Tensor chip. You open it up, and as you can see, you probably can't tell, but there is the bezel, which everyone talks about, but to me, holding a tablet, you know, you have something to hold on to, and it does give you the option to have a little camera here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll close it here, and I will turn it on. I will tell you, that close is very significant, so, um, I know the Fold 4 I've had for a little while does have a case on it, but if you can listen to this, you hear that little like, it sounds like tape. That is the screen protector. And I've been pretty lucky so far. I've had it since launch and the screen protector is still on it. Um, so pretty good, but it does close pretty well, but you see they had that little gap. You can even see the screen from the bottom. And then you go to the razor and this has a case on it too, but it closes straight. And when you open it, there's no sound, but the hinge is not near as like significant on this. You can see like it kind of wiggles. Um, but then when you have this, it does close flat and it's got the full working screen there. And then when you open it, it does that. Now, one big thing is you can see how it's kind of, that's as flat as it's gonna get. Is that a problem? It is for some. But that is the Pixel Fold in Obsidian. This is the 256 version. Um, quick look and unboxing. If you guys want to see some more on this device, uh, shoot some comments down below. Let me know what you think. But the real question, and I want you to answer this in the comments, you guys, is $17.99 too much for this? Is it better than the Fold 4 or the flip style phone? Or do we wait for the Samsung Fold 5 and Flip 5. This has been Jason with Tunatech. Catch you next time.